Morning, YouTubers. Essex oh, Boy yeah, Builder back again. It's a, it's a Pinterest. Mm. It's a Holden it's on the hill a, project. Um, we're saying, starting the foundations this morning. Diggers just there. arrived, and dumper. <laughs> Getting all our bits out now, look. Yeah, but still so, no official words, just uh, a picture on Instagram, and that is about it. We are hotly following that line coming through there. So, this man, I was like, we moved over. A bit of messing about there. A bit of fencing's got to come down. So, groundwork is here, just getting all their tools out. Just going to have a look at the uh, digger and dump we've got. <coughs> Ready, mate. Oh, he didn't come out. I see other geezer. I thought he was going to come out. Right guys, uh, I haven't really had a lot of time to do any filming, um, but yeah, it's all been all been kicking off really. But basically, started digging a standard foundation. You are, right? I'll get. Yeah, yeah, I'm moving now, mate. Can you tell to ask him to move my van? Can you ask him to? Can you move my van? What? <laughs> Yeah, anyway, uh, Bert's pumps has just arrived. Look at that, it looks like 20 years old, that. Yeah, so, um, yeah, little straightforward extension, permitted development, three metres by four metres to turn into a bit of a bit of a pig. Basically, we had the biggest jobs worth uh, building inspector on the planet come the other day for a little inspection, and he absolutely buried us alive. Um, so yeah, I queried the foundation depth, and because we've got a willow tree 30, within 30 meters, he asked for a foundation detail to be drawn up, which costs five and a half to the customer, um, and, a, and a hell of a lot of work. I'll show you. Yeah, so uh, he asked for a two metre foundation on all the three sides, but that that's obviously the neighbour's extension, so their, their foundation's only a metre. If we dug two metres below, there's a strong, well, it, it would have collapsed, so we've had to uh, ask the structural engineers to come up with detail. So we've got a ground beam going in. It's going to sit on this pad, and we're going to break into the exist on to sit onto the existing foundation. And that's going to be encased in concrete. He's asked for uh, 75 mil. You got right, mate? 75 mil clay master on the inside, and reinforcement 16 mil rebar, top and bottom. 
You got that pad out the back there. You got the pad back there at all? Yeah, quite a bit. About eight. So you want to go straight through the pad first? Yeah, pad first and then we'll pull down and do this. Yeah. It's about, it's going to be at least eight, nine metres, I reckon. How high is this coming up? It'll be 225 down from Grandable. Two metres, shocking, isn't it? All because of that willow tree there. Yeah, yeah two metres you wanted. Yeah, because it's, it's under 30 metres away, that tree. Yeah. Do you know what? We did actually have a route coming through there, which uh, just shows you, ain't like. Well, they say the route's going to find the tree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the pumps arrived. We've got concrete come in uh, in half hour, so we're going to get the uh, pump set up. We've got about eight, nine cube concrete coming in. He stuck it on me to do a little shed base for him. Tiny shed base he wanted in the corner. So I said, yeah, that's all right. I'll, I'll do that for you. No worries. And uh, I said, what's similar dimensions of the shed? Eight foot by 12 foot. So yeah. Proper tuck me up. Already, Paul? Yeah, we're on. We're live. Um, they say it's more happy than what it's doing two hits. What? Because he only gets about 10. 10 what? Doing one of these wagons. And what, what, what wagon? What the, uh, what the concrete geezer? Yeah. He said he gets 14, full load. He's probably only put 10 on.